Hello everybody and welcome to this first episode where I'm going to show you how to create and store your first Google Sheet. So Google Sheets is all online, that's one of the main advantages of it. So we're going to open up a browser, I would recommend using Chrome because obviously it's uh, Google Sheets so it's optimised for Chrome. Um, and you're going to go to drive.google.com uh, and this will ask you to sign in so you are going to need a Gmail account. Um, I'm going to pretend that my existing one doesn't exist and open a new one. So I'm going to click on use a different account and then I'm going to click on create account and then I'm going to fill in some details. So obviously I already have my own account so I'm going to need to set one up. So uh, I'm going to put in just website details as the name. So your programming network or UK, then username, YPN, org dot uk and then I'm going to put in a new password so and then just click on next I need to put in a phone number which I'm blanking out because I don't want you all ringing me up um, at random times of the night <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to get a text. Put the code in. So now I've entered all my personal details uh, and I've to sign the terms and conditions etc um, and it's taken me through to my drive so now if I ever want to get back to this I can just go to drive.google.com um, and it'll take me straight to this screen um, there's a few additional options on the side um, I'm going to jump straight in to creating a new sheet so click on new and then Google Sheets uh, and it's going to open up a blank sheet for me um, now, on a, on a normal desktop, you'd be clicking File um, and then Save. Um, but in this instance, it's already saved it. And if I click back into my drive, you'll notice that it's opened the sheet in a new tab here. Um, and I actually start editing this. So let's put in My World. Um, it's going to automatically put this into our drive. So there we go. I just needed to refresh the page. Uh, at the moment it's called Unentitled Spreadsheet, so to rename it you can either click up here or you can go into File and Rename. So I'm going to call this My First Sheet. Uh, and you'll notice if I refresh this page, uh, it's going to have updated that for me. So Google Sheets is quite powerful because it's designed to share it with other people and do, unlike Excel, Microsoft Excel's version of shareable worksheets, um, Google One's actually relatively good. So um, here you'll see I've got my Google account here. So when I make changes, it's going to be recording that I'm the one making the changes. And if I click on share, um, I can add email addresses of other people. Um, and I can decide whether they can edit, they can comment, or they can view the file. Um, and if I click on get shareable link, um, I can just provide a flat out link. Um, and you can either have anyone with a link can edit, anyone can comment, anyone can view or off. Um, and then if, it, if it's off, then the, it's only people that you enter the email addresses for. Uh, so if I put edit and then copy that link, I can send people that link and they can come in and they can edit this file at the same time as me. Um, now I've got, not got anyone connected up to me at the moment, uh, so I can't show you exactly, but uh, it will have a cursor for each person who's currently viewing the document uh, and it'll show you where their cursor is. Um, so it's quite easy to avoid conflicts because you can see exactly what other people are doing. So that is it for this episode. You should now know how to set up your own account, uh, get your first drive and create your first sheet uh, and also get a shareable link in order to share it with your friends or colleagues. Um, so now it's time for your homework. Uh, your homework is to create your own drive, um, set up your first sheet, um, and then create a shareable link and post it in the comments down below. So thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to seeing your first sheets and I hope to catch you in the next episode.